hello and welcome to this section on this keyword we will try to understand how to use this keyword in this section so after completing the section you will be able to understand how to define this keyword how and where to use this keyword then we'll work with exercises and some of the assignments using this keyword the most important thing that you have to understand is dollar this is automatically available for us to use inside the class and we have seen previously with dollar this you can access the properties and you can access the methods of that class so we'll go deep down and understand how to work with this keyword so let's jump into this section now hello and welcome to the lecture on this keyword let's understand what is this keyword this keyword allows to access properties and methods of same class dollar this indicates the instance of this class so inside the class which is a blueprint of an object you will not have an object instance right so dollar this basically refer to an object instance inside the class whichever object is used for that class dollar this will refer to that specific object okay and you don't have to declare dollar this keyword it's automatically available in this class and remember dollar this refer to the instance of the class which is nothing but an object dollar this always refer to the properties and the methods of this class so if there is a property that a method want to access inside the class you access it via the dollar this keyword okay let's look at an example so how do you access a property let's say you have a car class you have a property called name and you have function called print name now the print name method want to access the property of dollar name you cannot directly specify the name of the property inside the method we cannot do this because this is a property of a class and class really is a specification so you have to have an object of this to access the property of that class so without any instance you actually cannot access the property of a class so how to access class property inside the class methods this is a very classical example and it's confuse most of the people where they don't understand that the property cannot be accessed inside the method of the same class so how do you access that well you can access it via the dollar this keyword so previously we had just had name now with this dollar this it's referring to the object instance and that object instance you, you can use to access the property of that class you can say dollar this property name or you can also say dollar this method name okay let's look at an example so you have a car class you have a name which is pre assigned to a value then you have function called print name you have a method called show name the print name method can access a show name and show name can access the property of that class and all this happens via this dollar this keyword so once you say dollar this keyword you can start accessing the method of that class or you can also access the property of that class so if you have dollar c is equal to new car and you say print name the print name will call show name the show name will access the name value so this is a very classic example of how do you use dollar this and using dollar this what you can access inside the class remember dollar this is an instance of a class which is predefined available for you to use and when you are mentioning dollar this you are actually saying whatever is the object at the run time you are denoting that object with dollar this so dollar this always holds the instance of the class at that particular run time so in this example dollar c is basically the object when it try to call the print name the dollar this will always refer to dollar c so that's basically the notation of dollar this dollar this always refer to the current instance of a class that is trying to access this methods okay so understand dollar this dollar this automatically available using which you can access property and method of the class inside the class okay you cannot access dollar this outside the class you have to access it inside the class itself so let's do an example and understand how do we work with dollar this keyword hello and welcome to the lecture on how to use dollar this keyword so i am in the amps ww folder inside oops i've created a folder called this and inside this i'll create one class i'll call it car.php 
So let's open this file. We'll create the class first. We'll define one property. We'll call it name. And then we'll try to use dollar this keyword and try to access the property and methods. There's a classic example of how do you access a property via a method? Okay. How to access properties via methods? Okay. It is done via two methods. This is called as getter methods and setter methods. Okay. This is a standard naming convention that is used to access any property via the methods okay you can find a similar example in other programming languages like java and c++ where you have getter and setter methods right and this is a concept of the oop wherein which suggests us that if you want to access a property you can do it via the methods okay how do you define a getter method for a name okay the getter method will look something like this it has starts with get and then you have the name of the variable if the name is age then you do age if the name is gender then you do gender g caps and if it's name then you mention is that name okay because it's a get you will have some return type you will say it's a string type and then you have to return this variable you have to return this property right and how you cannot directly return this property here right that's where the this keyword will help us to return it okay this is already available and it always referred to the object or the instance of a class that is trying to access this method okay and this will always refer to whatever value for that instance property is set that will be given back by this method and there's also a setter method for it you have to set the value of the name property so always the setter methods accept the parameter right it has the name or any value that you want to set so now if you want to set you are actually setting the instance variable this is the instance variable or instance property that you are trying to set okay how does this value differentiate means how does this name is not this name okay well dollar name is a local variable for this method whereas this is a class variable or class property for that car class to access this name you need this object instance for accessing this you don't need an instance because it's a local variable okay so it's very important to understand this line if you are not understanding this line then you are not pretty understanding what is the concept of this okay this always refer to the instance of this class an instance of the class access the property of that class whereas the dollar name here is referring to this local variable okay it is as similar to as if you say dollar age is equal to 10 and you have a similar age here okay the difference between the two is this is called as a local variable and this is called as a class properties and how do you access this inside the method you have to use dollar this age okay and how do you access this variable you can directly access that okay so that's the difference between dollar this age and the normal age and if you see the dollar sign here you don't have a dollar sign but here you have a dollar sign okay anything that you are accessing via the this keyword will always refer to the class properties okay anything that you are accessing without the this is basically referring to the local variables inside that method okay i hope it's very clear i'm going to delete this off okay so remember the syntax of a getter method and a setter method the get method will always start with lowercase get 
and set methods always start with lower case set and then whatever the variable value that you have will have the naming convention okay get will always have return type set will always have a parameter passed to that function okay set will always set the property get will always get the property okay so if you are trying to access this you can say car1 is equal to new car okay we'll do example 1 with using getter setter methods car1 set name setting the name of the car that is bmw and then you can echo out the car name then you can say get name okay it's very a classic example of how do you set and get a value and how do you change let's do an example too how do you change the properties from outside okay you can always change the name of the car from outside okay and again you can display the value and let's do a final example of independent objects so let's define car2 and assign some value to car2 and we'll print car1 and car2 okay one thing to remember whatever objects that you are creating here car1 car2 and then you are calling the same method right and inside that method you don't know which instance you are working with you're just saying this instance so when you are using car1 the dollar this will refer to car1 but when you're calling from car2 it will refer with the car2 okay so this is basically a generic keyword which actually represents the instance of that class at that moment okay so car1 we already set to ferrari and car2 will set to hyundai so by changing car1 the car2 will not get affected okay so let's look at that example now okay so we have bmw coming up we have ferrari coming up then we have hyundai coming up from the car2 car1 and car2 basically are the independent objects and even though you have dollar this to represent the instance of this it understand when you pass in car1 and car2 it understand which instance it has to change the value okay so that's how you basically use the dollar this keyword to access the property of that class and it actually represents the instance of that class at that particular moment Okay, so that's all the exercise on how to work with dollar this keyword and I'll see you in the next one. Hello and welcome to the exercise section on dollar this keyword. So I want you to do this exercise. Okay, let's understand what is the exercise all about and what you need to do as part of this exercise. You have to define a student class and then you have to define two properties inside the student class name and class okay that is the property of the class then you have to define get and set methods to set and access the property via the methods you have to define get name and set name get class and the set class and using which you set this property of the class then you have to define a method called print details to print both of the properties do this exercise and share this exercise file with me i'll see the exercise file and give you my feedback on this well you can pause the video and do the exercise or you can continue to watch the video okay so let's build this class we'll call it a student i bring it to some live we have to define two properties class 
then we have to define getter and setter for name and class and the notation is smaller case get and smaller case set right now you have to say name name class class okay so let's define the get method so get name basically return a value okay and the return value is name and we return it via this key remove the dollar sign and you're done with the get name set name accepts a value so typically we tend to use the same name and then we use dollar this to differentiate it okay then we can say dollar this name it's a dollar name okay here we forgot the return statement just add the return statement here to return that value and here we are setting that value okay the same thing you can do it for get class here to class then you can have the class variable here okay so you're done with getter and setter methods for two of these properties name and class and remember how we have done the naming convention for getter and setter you have to follow this you cannot just write get like this and then start writing the getter and setter you have to follow this naming convention that's why we have first written the get and set then we have written the variable name or a property name to it by making the first letter as caps okay and then we have to have a function called print details which basically do an echo statement we can say okay so this is the statement in which we are accessing the properties of that class okay let's create the instance of this class so we'll create two students students one student one and student two and then we'll assign the value to student one we can say set name then we can say set class And then we can add the same details for student 2 is in fifth class then we can say student 1 print the details then student 2 print the details okay so let's do a quick recap of what we have written we have written a student class with two properties then we have the getter and the setter method for name and the class then we have pre details method which actually prints the name and the class we have created two objects two instance of the student we have set the name set the class for both that instance and then we are printing the details okay so let's execute this Okay, 
so john smith is studying in first class jacob is studying in fifth class okay so remember how we have play around with this okay we have used it to assign the properties using the method and this is a standard way that you will see in most of the oops programming everyone follow this method this method of accessing the property via a method accessing and setting the value via the method to access you say getter methods for setting you set the setter methods and this is the standard definition of writing getter and setter methods and the most important thing in getter and setter method is how do you access that property of the class and it's done via the this variable well that's the exercise for this lecture and i'll see you in the next one hello and welcome to the lecture on assignments so the assignment is to create a calculator class okay and we will try to use the this keyword inside this class so here is the steps that you need to follow to create the assignment you have to create a calculator class you have to define three properties dollar a b and result you have to write getter and setter methods to access these properties then you have to write an add method and in that add method whatever values that you add you store it in the result property then using the get results method you try to print the results well that is the assignment i want you to do so that you get used to how to work with dollar this keyword well all the best for your assignment and once you do your assignment post it into the q and a section and i'll have a look and i'll provide my feedback to you okay so that's all for this lecture on assignment i'll see you in the next one well, that's the end of this section on this keyword and i hope by now you should be able to understand how to define this keyword how and where to use this keyword and you have done the exercises and assignments using this keyword well that's the end of this section on this keyword and i'll see you in the next one